Hello students, today we will see non-cyclic and cyclic photophosphorylation. Okay, first we will start with non-cyclic photophosphorylation. So first, the light harvesting complex, that is PS1, what, 700. Okay, their um, reaction center is P700, correct? So, when light falls on them, okay, when light falls on them, okay, when light falls on them, the components, the substance atoms present in them are getting excited. So, it means excited, the electrons, their outermost electrons come away from their effective nuclear charge. So, they are now easily able to move out from their own atom so now the electron is excited okay from p700 electron is excited then what happens this electron goes to the primary electron acceptor okay this is primary electron acceptor primary electron acceptor okay what is this which accepts the electron from PS1? F R S. Paradoxin reducing substrate. Okay. Then this electron, when accepted in this primary electron acceptor, then flows down. Okay. To paradoxin. Okay. Paradoxin reducing substrate. When this electron reaches paradoxin reducing substrate and comes to ferrodoxin and ferrodoxin NADP reductase okay NADP reductase then NADPH is formed 1 NADPH NADP plus forms NADPH plus H plus okay this is formed next okay now here electron is lost from PS1 then something hole is created some empty places here so it has to be filled correct so here it comes our PS2 light harvesting complex PS2 okay PS2 680 wavelength the reaction center is 680 then what happens here when the light rays falls here when the light rays falls it is getting excited and again an electron is coming out of their atom and moving to the primary electron acceptor primary electron acceptor okay and then it flows to the what plasto plasto kionon okay and then cytochrome b6 and f and then plasto cyanin okay clear it should be clear now see when electron accepted from ps2 goes to the primary electron acceptor of ps2 and then this electron flows to plastokionin and this pl after plastokionin it reaches the cytochrome complex that is b6 and f keep this in mind what is the cytochrome complex present here is b6 and f the electron carriers these are the electron carriers okay then the electron reaches plastocyanin after reaching plastocyanin fills this electron hole then NADPS redu reduced here while flowing here we get an ATP okay ADP plus inorganic phosphate we get one ATP in this step clear so this is our cyclic photophosphorylation okay now if here the electron is removed then here also 
a hole is created it also should be filled no so that's what this ps2 complex has a special role of splitting of the water okay this ps2 complex is placed in the side of the thylakoid membrane this ps1 is placed outside of the thylakoid membrane then ps2 splits the water okay clear see this water splits in inner side of the membrane what happens 4h plus and o2 and 4e minus why i have taken two water molecules means then we will get whole one oxygen molecule clear the other way will half like that okay 4h2 breaks down into 4h plus and one oxygen molecule and four electrons so this electrons goes over here reaches here 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 and coming to form nadph okay clear so this is non cyclic photophosphorylation now it is cyclic photophosphorylation here in cyclic photophosphorylation where it happens means stroma lamellae because in stroma lamellae there is no presence of ps2 only ps1 is present so this ps1 okay ps1700 when excited okay electron moves correct electron moves and reaches the primary electron acceptor primary electron acceptor that is frs ferrodoxin reducing substrate and then reaches ferrodoxin okay and then reaches ferrodoxin then comes to plastoquinone plastoquinone okay and then reaches cytochrome complex b6 and f then comes to plastocyanin okay plastocyanin and again reaches back see this path i am writing the electron path i am drawing here okay this is cyclic see where it starts it comes and ends over here so electron excitation this electron reaches ps that is a primary electron acceptor and flows to ferrodoxin ferrodoxin moves that electron to plastocyanin cytochrome b6f and plastocyanin okay these are the electron carriers as we know while reaching this cytochrome complex we get an atp okay adp plus inorganic phosphate we get one atp so here no formation of nadph only atp is formed over here so light is exciting this is cyclic photophosphorylation